They are perfect for tea time or even as a good gift. The variety goes beyond our imagination. Hi, I'm Carlos Salgado and in this series of tutorials we'll be making these delicious butter cookies also known as tea cookies. Tea cookies or butter cookies are a huge variety of small bites that work perfectly as an accompaniment at tea time, although many of us prefer a good coffee. The truth is that tea cookies are very delicious, very addictive and very easy to make. In this first part, I'll be making very delicate butter cookies, those that just melt in your mouth. And in the second part, I will prepare crunchy and very eye-catching butter cookies and some very special ones, the polvorones. So let's get started. For these tea cookies you need 230 grams of flour, 210 grams of cornstarch, 285 grams of softened butter or at room temperature, 3 eggs at room temperature, 150 grams of sugar, and a touch of vanilla essence. For the chocolate version, use 220 grams of flour and 50 grams of cocoa powder. Also, you must have a few star tips. I'll show you my suggestions during the video. And for the decoration of the cookies, you should have halves of walnuts, roasted and chopped peanuts, almonds, chocolate and rainbow sprinkles, apricot jam, raspberry jam, glacé cherries, and covertured chocolate. Now let's make the dough. Combine the flour and cornstarch and reserve. With a whisk, cream the butter with the sugar. Beat the eggs with the vanilla extract and add this to the butter mixer. Cream very well. Now remove the whisk, add the flour and use the beater. If you don't have this attachment, you could do it by hand or with a spatula. Integrate well without needing much. In this way, the gluten is not activated. For the chocolate version, combine flour, cornstarch and cocoa powder and add this to the butter and eggs mixer. Once you have the dough made, let's pipe it. Here we will be using all the techniques that you could see in detail in the tutorial about piping and decoration. The link is in the description of this video. Have some trains with silicone mats or parchment paper. First, make some horseshoes in vanilla and chocolate. Here you could use the Nozzle Ateco 827. Remember to allow some space between cookies since they tend to rise a little in the oven. Now make some little sticks very similar to eclairs. For those, you could use the nozzle Ateco 828. With the same nozzle, you can make these rosettes. 
place a walnut in the center. Now make these star cookies in vanilla and chocolate. You could use the nozzle at Echo 869. Try to make them as flat as possible. Place an almond in the middle of some of the vanilla ones and a sherry in the chocolate ones. With the help of the index finger or the thumb and a little water, make a little pressure in the middle of the other's vanilla cookies. Make these rosettes in vanilla and chocolate. And these little seashells. Once you have all your cookies piped, proceed to freeze them for about one hour. Preheat the oven at 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. It is worth mentioning that once the cookies are frozen, you could store them in the freezer for up to six months and you could bake them whenever you want. Remove the cookies from the freezer and add a little raspberry jam in the center of these vanilla cookies. Take the butter cookies to the oven. Bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes. They cannot get very golden, just on the edge. Let them cool off for about 2 or 3 hours. Now let's decorate. Melt the cover to chocolate in the microwave or in a double boiler. Make a sandwich with two little sticks and some apricot jam, dip half in chocolate. Stick the chocolate seashells with apricot jam as well and dip half in chocolate. Let them crystallize on parchment paper. Dip the horseshoe tips in cover to chocolate. For the chocolate horseshoes, you can also add a bit of rainbow sprinkles. Dip half of these rosettes in chocolate and add a little of chocolate sprinkles. Add some chopped peanuts to the chocolate rosettes. Make a sandwich with some vanilla seashells and raspberry jam and then dip in chocolate. Wait an hour or so for the chocolate to crystallize. Since the humidity modifies the texture of the butter cookies, I do not recommend placing the cookies in the fridge to crystallize the chocolate. Also remember that decorations will always have to cover the less aesthetic parts or patches. Walnuts, almonds and sour cherries cover the center of these rosettes and stars, precisely where the final point of the pipe is. The same happens when covering half of these rosettes we cover the less aesthetic parts. Tea cookies last for weeks in sealed containers, so they can be prepared in large quantities and in a short period of time, and then stored for sale. As a product, this is one of the most profitable business in pastry, since it's sold by weight, which can generate profit margins of over 100%. And here are these delicate tea cookies, ready to serve. They are addictive, and melt in your mouth. Then we have these crunchy and delicious spiral and checkerboard cookies, as well as this filled with red berry jam and the famous polvorones. Do you want to learn how to make them? Don't miss the second part of this tutorial about tea cookies. Remember that all the videos have a version in English, Portuguese and Spanish. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like my content, please subscribe for more pastry lessons. Thanks for joining me and see you soon.